Hello and welcome to 27 Fox Place. Today I need to clean and prep my fridge. Before I restock my fridge, I need to clean and prep the remaining veggies I have on hand. This way I know what I need to use up in the next few days and I can also see what we're running low on. And since the fridge is empty, it's also a good time to wipe it down to get rid of any spills and crumbs. I like to soak my produce in baking soda solution to remove any chemical residues. I like to add about a tablespoon of baking soda to about a gallon of water and let them soak for about 10 to 15 minutes before rinsing. While I have the produce soaking, I'm going to start a batch of carrot soup. I'm going to chop half an onion and then I'll saute it with a teaspoon of honey and a tablespoon of maple syrup. Once the onions are ready, I'll add a quart of chicken stock and about two cups of carrots. Now all that's left is a half a tablespoon of minced ginger and a few cloves of roasted garlic. Now I just need to let it simmer for about 20 minutes or until the carrots are tender. So while I'm waiting for the soup, I'm just going to chop up some Brussels sprouts. So later, when I need an easy side dish, I'll just roast them in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes along with some chopped onion and some bacon. So now I'm just going to tear up some kale leaves for smoothie prep. Smoothies are my go-to for an easy and healthy option when I'm short on time. I'm going to portion out about 3 cups of greens into quart-sized containers. I'll keep a week's worth of greens in the fridge and I'll store the rest in the freezer. Now that the carrots are done, I just need to wait for the soup to cool down before I can puree everything in the blender. Since I already had the food processor out to shred the zucchini I need for the chocolate muffins, I'm going to shred the rest of the cabbage now as well.
These gluten-free paleo muffins are full of chocolatey goodness and so easy to make. This recipe uses a blend of almond flour, tapioca flour, and coconut flour, and the muffins come out dense but not overly sweet. So if you're interested in trying this recipe, I'll leave a link in the description box below. The recipe calls for applesauce, but since I don't have any on hand, I'm going to use a banana instead, and I think the end result is just as delicious. The best tip I can give whenever you're baking is to combine your wet ingredients separate from your dry ingredients. By mixing the ingredients separate this way, it ensures that all the ingredients are combined evenly. Whether I'm cooking one meal or a batch of meals, I like to clean as I go. That way I don't have a disaster waiting for me when I'm all done. I'm going to pop the muffins in the oven and while I'm waiting for them to cook, I'll go ahead and tidy up the kitchen and then wipe down the fridge.
that's left is to puree the soup. I'm using a high speed blender, but an immersion blender would work just as well. I'm going to blend everything on high until the soup is smooth and creamy. And if the soup is too thick, I can always thin it down a little by adding more liquid. Because I'm using roasted garlic, I'll add that to the mixture now as well, but it's better to cook fresh garlic with the onions. Now that the fridge has been taken care of, I have one last thing on my list. I need to prep the dry ingredients I use in protein shakes. I like to portion out all the dry ingredients I add to protein shakes into snack sized baggies. It's easier to prep for a few weeks worth at a time while I have everything out. So the ingredients I use in my protein shakes varies from time to time, but today I'm going to use vanilla protein powder, collagen powder, chia seeds, and hemp seeds for the vanilla protein mix. And I'll use the same ingredients for the chocolate protein mix, except I'll use chocolate protein powder instead of vanilla, and I'll add a tablespoon of cacao powder as well.
that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. And if you liked it, be sure and give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe so you don't miss the next one.